Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and uh, today I want to talk about what I think is the best AI prototyping tool for creating designs um, out there, right? So I haven't really found a tool quite as good as this in terms of usability, in terms of output quality, in terms of how easy it is to get started. Like imagine you are on the train going to meet with a client and they have some type of um, website that they want you to build and their business is let's say like a uh, a seafood restaurant right so um, a an Italian seafood restaurant they like this formal style they like this these blue colors um, they want something type maybe minimalistic but also very very formal in a way and instead of having to open your laptop and open Figma and start making wireframes and start looking for different inspirations online, you can go ahead and in just minutes create generations looking like this um, where you have, you can just describe it with a few words, right? In this case, I said, you know, a formal yet minimalistic landing page for an Italian seafood restaurant. The background must be white and and should have black text and also some navy blue elements in the design. And please do not add gradients. So something like this, you know, it also includes the, the menu, as you can see. And all of this also is extremely editable. So you can go ahead and select on certain things, click over here and kind of edit the content to whatever the, the menu item is called. You can do the same thing with the price over here. And same thing goes with the images. So like this is like a nice stock image that the AI chose, but also this one, this guy, you can also change it. You can replace the image down here to be someone else. And you can just go on and on creating different types of variants. And at the end, you can even combine these different things and and put them into like one specific design, like a, like a Lego, right? You can basically get these different pieces of designs, put them together, and you know, eventually do that even with, with your client. So it gives AI a new kind of perspective, perspective when it comes to prototyping. Also, if you guys enjoy these topics, I, I, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord server. We are a community of a bunch of different designers, developers, startup founders. We meet up every single weekday to kind of uh, talk about different topics, different tools that are, that are kind of trending that we can you know, test out and I can eventually talk about here in my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in joining that link is down in the description below. All right, so we, we created these. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. And the way to do that, um, and the cool thing about this is that it's an infinite canvas, so you can like zoom out, you can move things around, right? You can copy and paste things. Um, so like I can, for example, copy paste this and I can say like, for example, like uh, make this uh, more of an, I don't know, we can say make it more modern. Obviously this is a, a very vague prompt, but I'm just kind of showing you that you can do any type of prompt here and it'll start generating. And then what, what we can do here is we can just go down here, click on, double click on the infinite canvas. And then over here on the right side, you're gonna see this prompt, right? It says type your messages with mentions. Now, what are mentions? Mentions are basically where you can mention another specific design here. So we have seafood restaurant restaurant landing, and then we can call this one like uh, rename seafood restaurant image images, right? Because it's more of like a images over here. And then what we can do is we can go here and say like build a website and include at so when we click at, you can see the first variant, we can see the second variant and the third one. And then if you just click on one of them, you'll see them like this in the chat. Now we don't wanna you know, include the whole website, but what we can do is we can, for example, build a specific section. So we can build, build a testimonial uh, section, uh, formal design, black text, white background, minimalistic, no gradients, right? I always like to put no gradients because a lot of these AI tools put add gradients. Let's go ahead and do that. And this, for example, is the more modern website that we get. We get a few different differences over here. I can see, for example, right here, this looks a little bit different with like a quote from the chef. We get menu highlights, which looks really nice. We still have this navy blue color, which is 
pretty cool that the the AI can kind of keeps this. And we have like this map section that we could potentially add. Um, overall, overall, very nice, right? I really like the text actually. And down here we get the client testimonials and we can open this like this. Again, everything is responsive. So if I were to get this, for example, and move this like this, you can see that it's completely responsive. All of the different sections that we see are responsive to up to the mobile view, up to like a very wide screen, right? So um, this is a great example of that. And let's say that we want to integrate this client testimonial section under the visit us section. So we can say under the visit us section, add the at testimonial section. So we're design mentioning the testimonial section over here. Let's go ahead and click on submit. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see, let's just scroll all the way down, right? We have visit us and then we have the client testimonial. So that's, that's perfect, right? That's exactly what we wanted. Now imagine you're in this train and you're almost there. You created these examples and the guy, you kind of remember that the, the owner of the web of the uh, restaurants really liked uh, two specific websites. Now this is, for example, the website that they really want to, that they really like, right? We have this nav bar, we have this, this nice hero section and we have as you scroll down we have this image that kind of that kind of uh, zooms in right so this type of approach that's what they want so what we can do is we can use streaming mode from google ai studio to kind of stream our screen so i'm just going to click on share screen and then we are live now we're going to go to this website hello there i want you to kind of describe what you're seeing over here right we have this website called wavzai and as I scroll down, this image increases. Can you see that? I can see the website. As you scroll down, the image of the seafood appears to get larger. It's a dynamic effect. Awesome. Could you please write a prompt for this specific type of design so that I can give it to an AI tool for it to actually build it out for me? Sure. Here is a prompt you can use. Design a website with a large central image that dynamically zooms in as the user scrolls down the page. The website should feature a clear header with navigation options and a prominent book a table button. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any other help. All right. So that's basically it. Let's go ahead. Design a website with a large central image that dynamically zooms in as the user scrolls down the page. The website should feature a clear header with navigation options and a prominent book a table button. So let's go ahead and let's grab this text and let's go into magic path and let's just double click over here and let's paste this text and we're going to go here and we're going to take a screenshot of this, right? We're just going to take a screenshot of this so that we have some type of image reference so that we keep the same layout. Um, but it also understands the, the movement, right? So um, let's go ahead and click on submit. And basically for a first try, we get something like this. It's not quite the same. It's getting there. As you can see, the, the layout looks pretty similar. Um, and as you can see, it, it did a good job with this image zoom in, but you know, this is the first time that it generates this. You just have to keep on going and kind of reiterating, editing certain things. Like you want to add like a specific background color, specific font style. You can maybe get this, for example, and change the font family to be, you know, something else like crimson text or something. I don't know what you want. And what if you want all of your generations to have the same type of design style? Well, you can go up here to design system. You can customize your own design system. So I, for example, have made a bunch of different types of design systems. In the past, I made this recent one from Spotify. So we can make like, for example, like a Spotify restaurant hero section, go like this, um, just go over here to design system, choose Spotify and create a hero section for a restaurant, right? We can put like a simple hero section for a restaurant. We can go over here, a hero section for, um, with a restaurant menu, right? And then down here, we can put like a dark mode hero section for a seafood restaurant. Click on the submit. 
And also another a cool thing that you're starting to see is that as it starts to build, we have this streaming effect. So you can basically, it's like streaming the build process live. And so we get our first hero section done. It's like a nice uh, Italian seafood Bella Vista um, with a nice little interior, but also like these, this Shopify style, um, Spotify style, sorry, with, with the green buttons over here. And so we get three different hero sections, right? All with a very similar design system. Um, this one is actually like my favorite one. It has a cool like uh, background with the with the divers and the fish. Ocean's finest fresh daily. So it's like a Spotify restaurant, right? <laughs> so you get this nice background. You get this nice colors, these nice fonts, um, nice structure. And again, you can either build the design system here or we have tools like TweakCN. So TweakCN, this is where I actually build out the, the Spotify theme. So we have a white mode, a, a light mode, and we have a dark mode, as you just saw, right? And you can, you know, change between these different things. You can create your own one here as well. There's like a default one that you can start off with. Um, or you can just go ahead and choose like stuff like this. For example, soft pop. We can just get the code, copy the code, go into Magic Path, click on import, paste this code in here, click on apply, and then we can save this. We can actually preview how it looks dark mode and how it looks on light mode. It looks like this, right? We have all of these cool little colors. And then we can go ahead and click on save. We're gonna call it pop, click on save design system. And then we're gonna go and create, um, we're gonna do the same thing, right? We're gonna create different hero sections, but with this pop. So we get different types of styles. I, I saw that um, with the hero section, they tried to add the AI, the AI tried to add some images in the background. So I started creating like other sections like this, like a menu section and actually does a great job with the specific style. So um, I wouldn't really, you know, suggest using this pop design system for creating hero sections. But I do think that, you know, putting these things together, um, maybe putting this hero section at the top and then this, this uh, menu part at the bottom looks really good. But yeah, as you can see, it gets the style and creates the designs based on the style. And you can just start, you know, double clicking, writing, double clicking, writing, and start creating a bunch of different prototypes. And last but not least, one of my favorite parts of this tool is the community tab. And this is where you can basically go in and look at all of the projects that people have been building. And um, there's a lot of really cool designs out here. And what you can do is you can even like, click on one of these and you can copy the file and then you can build off of this, right? So you can go ahead and go over here and add a new component with this pop style if you wanted to, and then integrate it somewhere in the on top of the comments uh, on this uh, YouTube prototype. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to kind of show you a quick little demo of this prototyping tool called Magic Path that I've been doing a lot of content on in the past few weeks. And yeah, let me know about uh, what you think about it in the comments below. And again, if you want to join my, my Discord calls, we basically get together every single weekday. And if you want to join that, please feel free to, free, feel free to join the uh, Discord link down in the description below. I'd be more than happy to meet you. And yeah, thank you so much for joining. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.